So as you come in through the forest from North Triber Road, or no, there's North Triber Road behind us. And I used to live in that house down there, Four Finger Point. And you'll come across this. Most people know it as, or most people I know, know it as something called Robin Hood's Den. This is basically one of the places where we used to play when we were younger. It's part of a... It used to contain a seat, it was part of a seat, a sheltered seat for uh, Colton S House, which used to stand just at the back. I think the stables are still there at the back, but they're now uh, occupied as some flats now. Um, on the old Orden survey maps, going back to about 1830, I think, 1830, 1840. This is labelled as the Vaz. Now none of this, none of these houses that you see down the bottom were ever there. So this looked out, these trees were also much younger. But it looked out straight down to Wisha House. That's what it looked over. And the view must have been incredible. Um, but now it's obviously fell to ruin. Many fires over the years inside. You can actually see through to the other side now in the top left corner there. Which you never used to. And you get this little nice little wall around the side. So this thing's been here for 150 years as far as I can see. Just going Walk around here, and up the back is just going overgrown. I'm sure these are uh, raspberries used to grow up here. I'm sure. I'm sure these were a lot of raspberries in the back when I was younger. Um, that was. I was eight years old when I moved from the house on North Drybra um, up to Branchlewood into the forest. Well, I didn't move into the forest, but I moved up, moved up that way. Um, by just over over time, this this is just gonna fail to vandalism, and as you can see, it's quite a popular drink. And then uh, the Shelterton. People disrespect now, which is a shame. It's all just completely overgrown, but you can walk in, you can go around the other side. We'll walk around and have a look off the top. So, as you walk around, the, you can go around the back here. Majority of people I know, it's always been, this has always been Robin Hood's Den, it's never been the Vaz RHD. I'm just going to see these rocks. I'm not, really, I'm not really sure how big this actually, this actually was. Um, seems to be a wee mound going up to it, but I'm not really sure what the overall drive was. Oh yeah! Stuck. Oh, and as you come up here, you get a decent review. You see just how much rubbish has been left behind. I'm going to try jumping off this. As I'm down a walk down onto the field down here. This is another part of the another part of my childhood that is disappearing. There's a very well walked path that cuts through here that never used to be here from when I was younger. Um, and the councils have been up kind of clearing away some of these trees that had fell in the storm. Uh, apparently we're going to collect these logs and take them for biomass, but 
think that was just a lie so that I didn't take any. Because I could uh, I could make a few things from them, along with my dad. Anyway, come down on the field here. Which is, uh, it used to be overgrown with pretty much everything. Whole range of flowers and nettles and this entire section at the uh, edge of the forest. There was an old iron fence that ran all the way along, which is now gone in the last 20 years, 22 years. And all the way along was raspberry bushes from the very bottom all the way to the top. And they were, uh, I used to collect them, take them down to my gran, she'd make some jam and stuff. That was relatively good. And you get the old chestnut tree. The old chestnut tree was a, uh, that was a haunt. Used to play tree tig in there. But there was three, there's another chestnut at the back. And another one was down here, but they've cut that one down. And that's uh, obviously left too. If you can do the maths. But that'll be all for just now anyway. If I see anything else, so in fact we can take a wee walk up here. And we'll go to the uh, horse's grave that somebody mentioned the other day. If you actually come in and follow the path, Quite a well walked path this. But I've come in from the park on North Driver. It used to be a football park and a swing park on the other side with the changing rooms at it. No longer there but if you come in from that direction head up um, this path or you can come in from where St Aidan's High School is and you can walk along uh, Kenneth Avenue past the school and um, past where Lammermoor Primary School used to be and straight up the hill. Uh, into the forest, take a left when you get to the end and you'll come in the back road here. But before I got to that grave that I mentioned earlier, I thought we'll go up here and just have a quick look at this because there was nothing left of it but it's something I noticed on the old OS maps that I thought I'd come down and check out because um, again it dates back and another 150, 200 years or something. I'll, uh, I'll confirm it later on when I get home. But this here is uh, what used to be a dovecot um, for Colton S House. So you had the house at the back and as you come down you see the, the vase and just to the left of the vase on the map is a dovecot and that's where this ruin is. Well enough, where people used to keep doves. That's all that's left of it. And again, dates back many years. This is just a mound, mound of bricks. So not much there. You see these everywhere when you come down here. These huge slabs are rock and brickwork. You see them all over. Try to get that picture in my head of what this place used to look like. So, so again we're on these nice well walked paths which are fairly half decent. A bit swampy in the snow and stuff like that right off. Anyway, these little paths off to the side. Follow this one, and you'll come up to the resting place of Esmeralda. It seems like such a strange place, just in the middle of the forest. Just obviously it's overgrown. It wasn't like this back in the day, but as you walk up here, ouch! And then you turn this corner here. And there we go. We've got so this was Esmeralda. It says on it, favourite mayor. Can't recall what this writing in here was. 11th of February 
and then it's home time.